Leviticus chapter 1 The Lord called to Moses out of the tent of meeting and said to him, Say to the Israelites, When any man of you brings an offering to the Lord, you shall bring your offering of domestic animals from the herd or from the flock. If his offering is a burnt offering from the herd, he shall offer a male without blemish. He shall offer it at the door of the tent of the meeting, that he may be accepted before the Lord. And he shall lay both his hands upon the head of the burnt offering, transferring symbolically his guilt to the victim, and it shall be an acceptable atonement for him. The man shall kill the young bull before the Lord, and the priest, Aaron's sons, shall present the blood and dash it around about upon the altar that is at the door of the tent of the meeting. And he shall skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. And the sons of Aaron, the priest, shall put it fire on the altar and lay wood in order on the fire. And Aaron's sons, the priest, shall lay the pieces, the head, and the fat in order on the wood on the fire on the altar. But its entrails and its legs he shall wash with water. And the priest shall burn all of it on the altar for a burnt offering, an offering by fire, a sweet and satisfying odor to the Lord. And if the man's offering is of the flock, from sheep or goats, for a burnt offering, he shall offer a male without blemish. And he shall kill it on the north side of the altar before the Lord. And Aaron's sons, the priest, shall dash its blood around against the altar. And the man shall cut it into pieces with his head and its fat. The priest shall lay them in order on the wood that is on the fire on the altar. But he shall wash the entrails and the legs with water. The priest shall offer all of it and burn it on the altar. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet and satisfying fragrance to the Lord. And if the offering to the Lord is a burnt offering of birds, then the man shall bring turtle doves or young pigeons. And the priest shall bring it to the altar and wring off its head and burn it on the altar and its blood shall be drained out on the side of the altar. And he shall take away its crops with its feather, and cast it beside the altar on the east side, in the place for ashes. And he shall split it open, holding it by its wings, but shall not cut it in two. And the priest shall burn it on the altar, on the wood that is on the fire. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet and satisfying odor to the Lord.